you, babe. Uh -huh. For 10 months, Teresa Allgaier's family has been praying for a miracle. Diagnosed with an aggressive form of breast cancer in February, she was at the hospital getting prepped for mastectomy surgery when the doctor came in with some unexpected news. I had my IV all ready to go, and they told me I can't have surgery today because I'm pregnant. I was scared because I didn't know what that meant to me. Did it mean my life or my baby's life? Um, did that mean I had to choose between my baby or myself? Um, all those things went through my mind. Doctors told Teresa she either had to end the pregnancy or wait 12 weeks to treat her breast cancer so she didn't put the baby at risk. But she had a husband and four other kids who depended on her. Was she putting them at risk of losing their mom? I would look at my kids and I would wonder, am I going to make it there for their graduation? Will I be there for um, my seven-year-old daughter to grow up and watch her get married? How much more time do I have? Am I going to be here for all the rest of it? It was very scary. Even with so much to lose, Teresa just couldn't bring herself to end the pregnancy. And when she found out she was having twins, she prayed for a miracle. She believes she found that miracle in Dr. Iman Mohammed. She was holding on to those kids and I said, I'll support whatever decision. We've done this many, many times before. I'm comfortable that we can do it again and you're gonna be okay. And as I said, she was just amazing, amazing. Dr. Mohammed did extensive research to find a chemotherapy that would kill the cancer and not hurt the babies. You're looking at a mom, two babies, and the rest of the family at home as well. You know, you don't want to compromise mom's survival because she has a family at home, and you don't want to compromise and change her quality of life by having babies that have developmental problems. Fran, you want some milk? Teresa took care of her family, went to regular chemo treatments, and continued working as a nurse's aide throughout her second trimester, amazing everyone who knew her. The summer was pretty rough. Going through the chemo was very tiresome. Um, losing my hair was horrible. Um, it was no fun to have cancer. And yet, through the treatments, Teresa kept her eyes on the prize, two new babies, depending on her to get well. Just be with the doctors and be with the nurses and help these babies to come out in your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you. You're going to be fine. At the moment of truth, Teresa looks to her family for strength. Will the babies be okay? Did her decisions in any way put them in danger? Less than an hour later, Teresa has a new son and daughter. Bradley and Bray Lynn are placed in the neonatal ICU. Despite a few complications, Teresa knows she got her miracle. When she looks at her twins, she sees survivors, just like their mom. Her breathing's doing good. Now it's just time to get them to eat good. Two weeks later, Bray Lynn's been released from the hospital, but Bradley's still here recovering. With no health insurance and medical bills mounting, friends organize a fundraiser to help pay expenses. And that's where another miracle happened. A father of twins who heard about the fundraiser on News 11 dreamed he won $100 in the lottery to give to Teresa, so he bought a ticket. And he says, well, unfortunately, I didn't win $100. He says, I, I won more than that. And he pulled out the lottery ticket and handed me a ticket and said that he had won $5,200 and gave it to Brad and I. And, uh, Walked out. Yes, miracles sometimes come in the smallest of packages. And Teresa knows many times they come exactly when you need them most. I've been doing a lot of praying. I think God gave them to me for a reason, to make me focus on something besides the negative. They're amazing. They've got me through a lot of hard times, that's for sure.